Shell Grotto of Margate was discovered by accident in 1835. In southeast England, in County Kent, Mr. James Newlove was digging a duck pond when his shovel broke clear through the ground into an empty space. He lowered his son into the cave and confirmed that this was much, much more than just an empty space. There was a secret underground temple of sorts, decorated with treasures from the sea. It's believed he and his family kept the discovery to themselves for a brief period of time before finally making the information public. This was the first modern knowledge of what would come to be known as the Margate Shell Grotto. There is a long passage that leads to a large altar room. The ceilings and walls are covered head to toe in seashell mosaic in intricate patterns which look like trees, flowers, men, and more. It appears the shells used were mussels, cockles, whelks, limpets, scallops, and oysters. Once through the entrance, a narrow S-shaped passageway reveals itself and leads you to a chamber where there's a central column. This is your first blush at the enormity of the space combined with the intricate layering of shell-centric mosaic that followed from the entranceway into this great room. At the end, there's an upward shaft that lets sunlight in. It's believed it may function as a solar clock or calendar. Others do just feel it's a hole for light because it's a hole and there's light coming through. A further S-shaped passageway leads you to a rectangular-shaped room with vaulted ceilings. Part of the walls here were accidentally destroyed in the World Wars. A total of 4.6 million shells were used to decorate the 2,000-square-foot space. And the way the shells are arranged in decorative patterns is reminiscent of a Neptune-like shrine. A Davy Jones hideaway of sorts. Some say the designs resemble Indian or Egyptian design patterns. Exactly when the site was constructed, though, is unknown. It's believed to have been built sometime over the past 3,000 years. However, use of oil-burning lamps in centuries past have rendered carbon dating useless. There are hypotheses that it was possibly built by the Phoenicians or Romans. It's also been suggested that the grotto was an 18th or 19th century mystic's altar. Almost all the shells are British, though, and the mortar had been deemed to be made of fish. So it very well could have been a secret hideaway for an affluent socialite, maybe even a lover's palace. Some feel it may have been a prehistoric astronomical calendar site, while others stand firm in a belief that it may have been connected with the Knights Templar or Freemasonry believing it may have been a temporary home for the Ark of the Covenant with possible connections to Chartres Cathedral. There's even fringe theories that relate the grotto to the lost city of Atlantis, possibly worship sites for secret deep-water alien civilizations, and even a guy named Walter who believes the shells are cast-offs from dinner plates and the entire thing is a giant hoax. There's a belief it was also a leftover tin mine that was decorated by artistic young teenagers that were well-to-do with all too much time on their hands. Shouldn't we all be so lucky? There's one thing that we do know, and that is that no one knows what this amazing place was used for. But it is one of the coolest things you'll ever see. For every theory, there's a concept to counter the theory and present another alternative perspective. And at this time, it's hard to say if we'll ever really know why it was made. This amazing grotto in Kent is one of England's greatest cultural treasures. The Shell Grotto is currently looked after by a not-for-profit called the Friends of the Shell Grotto, and they do conduct regular tours. Proceeds raised continue to support the care and upkeep of this historical site. Please visit shellgrotto.com co.uk if you would like more information or to find out how you can help. These are Interesting Things with JC.